This series of training videos provides an overview of the H5A modular camera and installation steps. The H5A modular camera provides maximum flexibility to combine different imager modules, mounting options, and cable configurations to suit any number of installation scenarios. For this training video, we will be configuring the main unit with a micro-bullet imager and a right-angle imager. However, for additional configuration options, see the installation guide. This segment overviews the steps for navigating the Avigilon website to access a camera's documentation resources, such as its installation guide, data sheet, and more. Access the Avigilon website. From the main navigation bar, select the highlighted tab. Select the desired camera from the available options, such as the H5A fisheye camera. On the navigation tabs, select here. On this page, you can access camera-specific software, product flyers, installation guides, and more. To download the installation guide, select the desired language. A separate window opens the document. Alternatively, enter the web address shown here to access an online version of the product's documentation. Let's start with the main unit. Use the slots here to insert up to two micro SD cards for onboard storage. See the specific training for more information. Located here is the firmware revert button. This button resets the camera to its factory default settings. Next, let us take a look at the rear side of the unit. Located here are the two imager connection LEDs. These LEDs provide information about the imager device connections. Under the connection LEDs are two imager HD VNC connectors. These are for connecting the modular camera main unit. Highlighted here is the micro USB port. Use this port when using a supported USB Wi-Fi adapter. See the Vigilon website for ordering details. The I.O. connector block provides connections to external I.O. devices. Located here is the Ethernet port. Server communication and image data transmission occur over this connection. This port also receives power when it's connected to a network that provides power over Ethernet. Located here is the Link LED indicator. The Link LED indicates an active connection in the Ethernet port. Next to the Link LED indicator is the Connection Status LED indicator. This LED provides information about device operation. The power connector block accepts a terminal block with a DC power connection when PoE is not available. Located on the bottom of the unit are the two mounting feet. These can be used for a tabletop installation or a wall mount. Highlighted here are the four mounting feet screws that fasten the mounting feet to the main unit. The mounting feet are removed for a DIN rail mounted unit. The DIN rail mount is used for securing the main unit to a DIN rail. This can be ordered separately. Located here is the screw hole used for fastening the DIN rail mount to the main unit. In the next segment, the micro bullet imager is overviewed. Highlighted here is the camera mount. The mount accepts M3 screws. Located here is the removable lens collar. Highlighted here is the camera lens. Next, let's take a look at the L bracket with the micro bullet imager. The L shaped bracket allows the micro bullet imager to be mounted to a flat surface. The thumb screw shown here is for the adjustment of the position or angle of the micro bullet imager. 
Highlighted here is the mounting collar for connecting the micro bullet imager to the L bracket mount. Located here is the BNC connector. Connect the micro bullet imager to the main unit with this connector. Shown here are the two mounting screws that fasten the L bracket mount to the mounting surface. In the next and final segment of this video, the right angle imager is overviewed. Located on the sides of the imager are four flat bracket clip retainers. The bracket clip retainers fasten the optional flat bracket to the right angle imager. Highlighted here is the camera pinhole lens. This captures the video image. Shown here are two mounting slots for fastening the right angle imager to a mounting surface. Note that these screws are not included in the package. Located here is the BNC connector. Connect the right angle imager to the main unit through this connector. Next, let us take a look at the flat bracket. Highlighted here is the lens opening in the bracket for the lens to be positioned. Shown here are the two bracket mounting clips. This connects the bracket to clip the retainers on the right angle imager. Located here are the two mounting slots for fastening the bracket and right angle imager to a mounting surface with provided screws. That completes the overview of the H5A modular camera.